कैन यू हेयर मी हेलो हेलो कैन यू वी आर विद यू ये ओके सो दिस इज अ केस ऑफ 17 ईयर ओल्ड मेल पेशेंट प्रेजेंटेड विद कंप्लेन ऑफ रिकरेंट एब्डोमिनल पेन फॉर द पास्ट 6 टू 7 मंथ्स ऑन एंड ऑफ हिज इन्वेस्टिगेशन सिटी स्कैन एब्डोमिन डन ऑन फर्स्ट जनवरी ऑन 26 दिस ईयर विच शो सिग्निफिकेंटली डायलेटेड पेनकैटिक डक फिल्ड विद प्रोटीनिशियस कॉन्टेंट एंड एसोसिएटेड पेनकैमल एट्रोफी एंड फाइंडिंग्स आर सजेस्टिव ऑफ इंट्राडक्टल पेपलेरी म्यूसनेस न्यूप्लाज्म दे इज ऑल्सो सबसेंट्रिक पेरी पेनकैटिक एंड रिट्रो रिट्रोपेटोनियल लिम्फ नोट्स आइडेंटिफाइड लार्जेस्ट वन एट पॉइंट सेवन एट पॉइंट सिक्स एम एम हिज यू एस डन ऑन द फेबर एटीनथ दिस ईयर विच शोज ग्रॉसली डायलेटेड पेनकैटिक डक्ट ऑफ ट्वेंटी टू मिलीमीटर एंड इनफ्लेम नेक्रॉटिक बॉडी ऑफ पेनकियास एंड म्यूरल नोड्यूल सीन इन द पेनकैटिक डक एट्रोफिक टेल एंड नॉर्मल सी बी डी एंड फीचर्स आर सजेस्टिव ऑफ क्रॉनिक पेनकेटाइटिस so you can see me right dr saad can you see me and yes we me? can see you and hear you as well theek hai so we already tested the balloon um so the patient's already sedated uh, while we were waiting i was just checking with him in the last month he's had about 6 to 7 days of um, pain he did lose weight but has gained weight back and he's steady and he's describing greasy stools uh so clearly he has pancreatic insufficiency the question is is this a benign or neoplastic process and he's 17 years old there's no family history of pancreatitis so again we're uh you know I would i'll try and keep this not too long because i think khalid has done a very detailed exam but again grabbing it around uh, s- the scope around 20 gentle flexion down th- uh, on the probe and then introducing it over the tongue so as i introduce uh, ideally i should have a larger endoscopic view endo endo bada kar do please endo bada kar over the tongue into the back or may i say my tendency is to do this more with feel as i have you know become more experienced in it uh when i see that we're in the uh past the tongue i just extend my wheel and depending on the sedation level pa- the patient generally will just uh-huh. swallow so now we're in the esophagus uh ab ultrasound bada kar de aur endo chota kar de uh again hath mera jo hai right hand is primarily just supporting the scope uh i'm advancing it uh with my left hand uh sorry right hand and and then my left hand is free to do the rotation kamre ki lights dim ki ja sakti hai nahi so this un- <laughs> unfortunately this is an eu me1 jo inka pichla generation uh, eu s uh, machine thi so the quality will not be as crisp as a eu me2 um but mera generally approach hoti hai ki i get to g junction and just like khalid was explaining go clockwise till you have liver and keep turning till i see the aorta um isme ye hai ke you have aorta at the top and above it is the crest of the left diaphragm as you push forward uh and you're going counter and clockwise you will start seeing celiac unlike the previous case isme the celiac is coming off at an angle which is right where the cursor is now personally i feel that we're only seeing the valuable information in the less than top half of the screen so what i am going to do is actually increase uh my uh or decrease my distance so we see more of the pancreas uh, more of the uh, closer details so once we do have that image of the aorta yaar ye image jo hai na iski resolution फ्रीक्वेंसी कम करने की जरूरत है क्योंकि दिस ई एम ई वन पे मेरे ख्याल से फाइव थी फ्रीक्वेंसी बेहतर नहीं इसको आप रहने दें मुझे जो है ना वो फ्रीक्वेंसी एक सेकेंड इसको स्विच करेंगे आप वापस वो हैं ओलंपस वाले Uh, 
فریکوینسی فائیو پہ لے کے جائیں کہ جو پرانی مشین تھی نا اس پہ فائیو بہتر رہتا تھا نہیں یہ تو ڈیپتھ ہے نا یار یہ نہیں چاہیے یہ ہے فریکوینسی اچھا مل گیا ایک سیکنڈ ہے اب وی نیڈ ٹو سی دس یہ مجھے دکھائیں وہ آپ کو ادھر سے بدلنا پڑے گا اوپر سے ہاں چلیں جو بھی ہے یہ آئی تھنک دس از بیٹر اس کو رہنے دیں آپ ذرا تو یہ لائٹس آف کر دیں تو جسٹ ری اورینٹنگ مائی سیلف اگین یہاں سے وی ہیو دا لیور اگین یہ ایورٹا آ گیا اگین وی ہیو دا کریس آف دا ڈائی فریم کرسر والا کا ہے اس کو ہٹا دیں اور دیر از دا سیلیک کمنگ آف یہ ہے یہ جو سیلیک ہے آئی آئیڈینٹیفائیڈ اٹس آئی ایم پلنگ بیک ونس آئی جنرلی ہیو دا ریجن آف دا سیلیک میری ٹینڈنسی ہوتی ہے ہوتی ہے ٹو گو کلاک وائز اینڈ ایکچولی گو ٹو ورڈس دا ٹیل آف دا پینکر سلیش ایڈرینل گلینڈ نارملی یہاں پہ آپ کو لیفٹ ایڈرینل ابو دا ٹیل نظر آ جائے گا سو رائٹ دیر This is, I have a little bit of a change and then I have done counter movement. So here we have the left adrenal and I usually basically go back then push in again. Thora sandar ja ke get past the G junction area and then go suction my scope. If you look at endoscopic view and I go clockwise and typically this will take you towards the pancreas. The same maneuver that Khalid was describing. Now this is where this exam is challenging because this is a grossly abnormal pancreas. Um, we don't have the best image quality. But here we are, I'm pretty confident looking at what is the pancreas. Overall it's okay but yeah, obviously compared to the other machine it's not. But this is, it's not ideal. And uh, that's the problem. We could say ME1, I think. Uh, kya um, this is the pancreas here. Uh, it's hard for me to differentiate pancreatic changes from a true mass lesion, partly because of the abnormalities, partly because of our scope uh, equipment. But anyhow, this we're following it towards the tail. Again, if you look at, I'm not sure if you can see my hands, but clockwise, going to the patient's left, وہاں پہ ختم ہو رہا ہے اینڈ دین ایز آئی گو کاؤنٹر وی سینگ پینکریس بٹ آنےسٹلی آن دس ایگزام از ہارڈ فار می ٹو میک آؤٹ دا ڈکٹ ایز ویل ایز وٹ از ایب نارمیلٹیز ان دا پینکریس ورسز چینجز ریلیٹڈ ٹو انفلمیشن یہاں سے ایز آئی گو کاؤنٹر دین یو کین سی دا پینکریس ڈپنگ ڈاؤن اور یہاں پہ مجھے لگتا ہے کہ تھوڑا سا ڈکٹ وی آر سینگ about here yeah we can see that uh, yes. right there yep mm -hmm. though actually now that i look at it some more this is actually the duct i think th this is a grossly okay grossly abnormal dilated duct and this is where the you know the benefit of doppler comes in you can put doppler on to see it could be a vessel like a duct and actually i think what's going on is that this is the true duct that is artifact but about this particular there's no doppler flow in it and that's a markedly dilated pancreatic duct heading down towards the neck um, and we can try and verify that from the duodenal bulb and and the stomach uh, and the sorry in the second portion but if i could just freeze my image here uh, and put the calipers on So, now we have our finding. Do we have to remove this picture? 
तो 13 मिलीमीटर का पेंक्रेटिक डक है ये इन द बॉडी नेक एरिया हाँ जी तो अगेन जस्ट टू गो ओवर द मूवमेंट्स टू रिमूव द डॉपर बी मोड कर दिया वापस तो क्लॉकवाइज गए एवोटा सीलियक पुश इन अ बिट गो मोर क्लॉकवाइज इन यूजली they'll take you directly to the pancreas right there and then as we follow it counter we go towards the neck body and there is the portal confluence there is the pancreatic duct the pancreatic duct is going down this uh, pancreatic duct is going down towards the head neck area this way and this is your splenoportal confluence uh, smv is going down this way portal will come down this way and splenic vein will be this way the other view to look at is now if you look at the endoscopic view i was more proximal if i go in and suction just before the ant uh, before the pylorus and that now i turn clockwise and now if i start pulling back i will soon come upon ye the spinal portal confluence from the other side kai dafa hote hai ki isme your scope slips and you go back into the proximal stomach but let me just see if we can do it this way here I think I've I've slipped back. So rather than wasting, actually, wait a second. Yeah, rather than wasting time, give vapis se madar aage. If it works, it works. Then usually, I don't persist on it. I typically go to the second portion of the, or say the duodenal bulb. So this is again that long position. And the minute you enter the bulb, I will typically look for the duodenal bulb views of the bile duct, portal vein. और उसमें मनूवर्स देर सटल मूवमेंट्स बट यू बेसिकली हैव टू रिलैक्स यूर एज सुन एज यूर थ्रू यू हैव टू रिलैक्स यू ड्रॉप यूर हैंड सो यूर लुकिंग इन टू लिवर एंड एज यू पुश इन एंड गो काउंटर वंस यू हैव द लिवर इन व्यू ये गॉल बैटर आ गया आई एम स्टक ऑन द गॉल बैटर एंड आई एम जस्ट गिट चेंज माई स्मॉल वी लेफ्ट राइट अगर आप मेरे हाथों को देखें देर पॉइंटिंग टूवर्ड्स माई फीट सो देर वे डाउन So this is the right lobe segment five of the right lobe of the liver. Exactly. Yeah. So, so I'm so all the way counterclockwise uh, inside the bulb, mm -hmm. and also looking at the in the gallbladder. Go on, carry on, Khalid. Yeah. No. So this is the only portion of the right lobe of the liver we can uh, see with the EUS. EUS. And that you have to really. Uh, that's what you are doing. That's what you have to. may make your wheels uh, really go extreme to the counter clockwise exactly my facing hand is turned all the way yeah, like this and uh, facing uh, towards the floor actually yes aur dusra ye hai ki if you notice uh, if you look at the gall better th there is floating debris in it so this is yes so real yep. there is real debris in this gall better yep. which may not be picked up with any other uh, modality so as i give some forward pressure and go clockwise not always but most of the time you can get your uh, bile duct portal view i'll usually will try this one or two times and if it's just not happening i will typically move on to the second portion and then try again on the way back because sometimes that bulb view is easy and sometimes it's not so easy especially in patients with pathology it can be challenging so going back into the bulb
there. <coughs> so is the way I can now on this occasion, I, f I think I have the bile duct at the top here. But just to confirm, I'm going to just try and maintain my position and gently go clockwise. At this point, in order to differentiate vessels from the ductal structures, I am going to use Doppler again. And these are all vessels. So I think this is probably hepatic artery rather than the bile duct itself. So I'll keep looking for a bit. And if I can find it, great. If not, then I'll move on. So we have, I believe, come upon the pancreatic duct here. Ye nicheko, this one here, because that was the dilated duct. So now if I keep that in view and go counter, then I might be able to find bile duct. In him, I, I'm not confidently being able to see the bile duct, so I'm going to move on now. Uh, I may have had it in view and not recognized it, but either way, it doesn't change the fact that I haven't seen it. So now I have to maneuver myself around the duodenal bulb. Again, he's slim, and we have to be careful not to do anything too uh, harsh in terms of our movements. I do use small wheel to the right. I put up the balloon, advance gently. Uh, screen, buddy, could bring it to me. Just to get my bearings, the second portion because it's not as obvious. So it's down to the right, so I have to go more right, gently advance my scope. Big wheel is uh, towards me, thumb down. Um, and now we're through the uh, sweep into the proximal second portion. And here, I typically will reduce. Ismail, my approach is a bit different from Khaled. I, uh, I actually feel somewhat similar to Dr. Saad that the second and third, yeah, first and second, I think it's backwards. First and second tend to be similar. So I will typically actually come back and endoscopically look for the papilla. Uh, unless I know that there's a lesion in the unsnit or deep unsnit, like a cyst that I want to look for. Um, so I, I, uh, I do both ways. So whichever works, uh, either yeah. I'll look for the papilla or uh, I think uh, I mentioned that before that you can do both ways. Okay. Yeah. So if I am more interested in Ampola, then I would definitely uh, yeah. do the, uh, this way. This way. Yes. And, and in a situation like this where the consideration is... IPMN as well, uh, even though he's young. With this scope, this is the best we may be able to see. But you can grab a biopsy forceps and just lift the fold to look to see if there is a fish mouth papilla. Um, otherwise, you know that it's going to be behind this fold based on the other folds. At this point, I typically will put my balloon up a bit and turn my body clockwise. Just like in ERCP, turning this way will stabilize your scope. And then I will do big wheel uh, thumb down, so or I big wheel up as I call it, but thumb down, and get uh, a position against the duodenal wall. Um, switch kidneys or ultrasound, but I think. And typically, this will bring me below the papilla because the probe, as Khaled pointed out, is distal. So this is that third yeah. portion view where you have the aorta, um, or gently pull back and go counter, and clockwise. So these are the mesenteric vessels, and we're starting to see the pancreas as well. Or yeah, now we have the PD, I believe, the PD in view. So Dr. Saad is saying he has seen the papilla. It's not fish mouth. OK. Yeah. So Good to know. Okay. Uh, in this situation, I like to uh, get closer, though I think we may lose resolution on this, uh, just to look at evaluate the pancreas. 
but given the is that the pancreatic duct can you put a doppler on there or? this one i think is a vessel no no above that uh, above i thought i saw what might be right there this yeah this may be though i don't know if this is the no. main pancreatic duct or not the uh put a do the upper one uh, the upper yeah it this is a pancreatic this guy yeah, right this yes one. yes that is a pancreatic duct but i think this may be a branch because his main was so dilated right unless it's dilated upstream yeah uh, that's what i'm wondering i think it uh, looks like it may be dilated upstream uh, to the distal head and pancreatic neck and body that's where it's dilated so yeah orientation now i don't know this looks like this to me looks like air in one of the ductal structures but i could be wrong So here it's just gentle sort of clockwise counterclockwise trying to identify structures. So there's pancreatic duct. So has he had an ERCP or not? Has he has he ERCP? He has had an ERCP. Okay, there's air in the biliary tree. So, so if I can just freeze it. Yeah, it is good for the time today. Um, let me just sh show you this. Pakki baat hai yeh nahi aisi thi. Minus hi dalaga. Isme, is bache me. Yeah, I apologize for the. Lack of certainty on my part, like in which part of it I feel is the the quality of the image, but this is this is a pancreatic duct. I'm being told that he had a minor papillotomy. I I don't know if Doctor Nias can confirm that or not. I honestly I'll have to look and ask. I'll tell you guys. I'm actually at the moment trying to figure out how to improve the the thing for the next case. So I've not been involved, but I can just have a look and tell you in two minutes. No problem. But anyhow, so this is a pancreatic duct, which is. As we pull back, uh, we can see it will cross over the portal vein. What I haven't confidently seen here is the bile duct, though on some views I thought I had it with air in it. Because this I feel is SMA and SMV. This is where, or this is a branching of the same vessel, but this is where maybe power Doppler will help us. Uh, power wave will So it's like I'm just keeping the PD in view and gently pulling back with some clockwise encounter just to see what happens with the duct. Uh, Mustafa, uh, just uh, as an observation, is the pancreatic quite a coarse echo texture, does it? The yes. Pancreas, yeah. the <laughs> in that area, there was, and in the body tail, which we are back at now, yes, yeah. uh, it's, it's actually hypoechoic, almost yes. mass-like here. 
Right. So yes, the, yes, the differentiation here is, you yeah. know, is this chronic pank or is this a neoplasm? In a yeah, that's that's what I wondered. Yes. So of course, yes, in a yes, yes. older person, the the money would be on it being a neoplasm, and while this could be that in a seventeen-year-old, I yes, would be yes. more in favor of this being uh, a p- uh, significant pancreatitis, like yes, you know, yes. very marked yes. pancreatitis. Yes. You yes. actually, if you look at this view, typically you don't see this rim around it, sure. and this is edema around the pancreas. Uh, in this particular area a discrete uh, duct is not evident. Sure. Um, but the frustration for me, you know, on multiple levels, including not being able to find the bile duct, yes. here, the bile duct, as Khaled was saying, will be b- behind the portal vein, and we may see it because he's relatively slim. So if I go So these structures here are ductal in nature. And as I go clockwise, I'm going towards the papilla. My sense is, and I could be wrong, that this is actually the bile duct. Because it comes down this way. And then uh, I'll show you the movement. Then it comes back this way towards the hilum right. of the liver. So if I go clockwise, it goes down to the right, and you lose it a bit. But as I go counter, as I go towards liver, it's actually going towards the portal vein and not towards the pancreas. So I think that's his bile duct, as visualized from the stomach. It hasn't been as obvious for me to see from the second portion or the bulb. I'm going to try that one more time. Um, the other thing I'm not confident about is whether this is true divisum or not, but uh, s- apparently he's had a minor papillotomy. All right. Uh-huh. Yes. Yes, please. We did this year in the EUS. If you remember the ER. I remember, yes. Okay. So the query of IPM, and this was done by Khalid. Okay. So, and then uh, we went and did an ERCT. Uh-huh. We didn't get anything to the major papilla. Okay. Or into the minor papilla. The minor papilla, the pancreatic duct that you just showed, which looked like a normal caliber. Yes. That's what we saw was from the minor papilla. Okay. The dilated pancreatic duct could not be seen neither. We, we could not pacify with the from the main papilla, neither from the minor papilla. So that was the query, and that's why we got him back. Okay, and do we have an MRCP or not, by do any chance? Do we have an MRCP? I think there was an MRCP. So we have a CT. Uh, okay, even a CT. Again, the pancreatic duct was very dilated. With the atrophy of the pancreas. Dilated all the way across? It's IPMN because uh, of the appearance. Uh, because of But you did minor, and your minor filled all the way to the body tail? May, may, my minor filled, uh, yeah, you could see the whole pancreatic duct, ex- except that it wasn't dilated, so. Yeah, so there's a disconnect yeah, between there's what's. A disconnect between this dilated pancreatic duct that you're seeing, and then we saw as well. Yeah. And, and, and this, and so. The idea was to see if there's been any changes. We did hit the EUS in, on the 18th of February. Almost two months. Okay. So finally, I think we have that pap- major papilla view. I think there's a duct and there's the bile duct above. Did you do a uh, biliary? Major major y- yeah. So. We saw the bile duct, that was normal. Yeah. The pancreatic duct, we could not. There was, n- there was no dye going into the pancreas. I couldn't, I couldn't see anything going into the pancreas. Okay. From the major. Yes. So that's why we went into the minor. Minor. The minor did not show any dilatation. Saw the pancreatic duct, the one. It was very similar to the view you've got. In the neck area where it was really dilated? Yes. Sir, so can you hear me? Yeah, I can hear you. Uh, 
initially when the case was uh, being presented, somebody uh, said that there's uh, the intermural nodules as well? Yeah, that was on the CT scan. Okay, not on the EUS. No, then, then the EUS was done on 18 February and Khaled actually, may recall, he was there. We were doing ERCP workshop. And then and on that, there was a question mark on, on possibility of something in the pancreatic duct, uh, but uh, not, not confirmed. And uh, the patient's been presenting with abdominal pain. Um, so the, the differential there was between chronic pancreatitis and the ampulla was normal. So okay. it's unlikely to be... Uh, yeah. And this is actually, I finally found the, this is the ventral duct and this is the bile duct. Um, and so when I, if I keep Ma it in this and then this, and you can see that there's air in the biliary tree, which Masa is... Masa, can you clearly show us the ventral and dorsal duct? I can show you, the yes, in a second. So th I think this is, to me, this looks like ventral, and this, to me, looks like bile duct with air in it. But just to look for dorsal, from this area, if I have bile duct in view, if I go clockwise 90 degrees, I should ideally see the dorsal duct. Yeah, uh, uh, Dan was right. That looked like an air in the bile duct. Yes. Here. Yeah. Yeah. So, so here, PD yeah. and bile duct. Bile duct. Yep. And then as I as I pull back a tiny bit, I still have bile duct in view. And you have a PD there too. I have well. PD there too, and it's actually going upwards towards. This is going towards the portal vein. And the bile duct is okay. above it. So, uh, uh, Mustafa, can you freeze and uh, put an arrow exactly where uh, it's, uh, they want to know exactly where that is? So that's a PD right so there. So PD is here, okay. and it, it's going like this yeah. up towards the portal. Exactly. And now and let me bile show you bile duct, duct, duct at, the top, at the top. Right the top. There. Uh, yeah, I wanted to show you the area with the air in it. Right there. There. Yep. Exactly. So this this that's is bile duct, and it'll go down this way. And the PD will be below it, and it'll come around like this. So I'm going to take the Doppler off for clarity, um, and then huh? just repeat that movement again. So right. can you point, uh, put an arrow on that white air in there? Yes, the, yeah. right there. Yeah, let's get, OK, let yeah, me just. Go, yeah, you can go back and uh, yeah, roll the image right there. Yeah. There you right. go. So. And so now if I scroll in, in it, um, you see this white? That white stuff? Yeah. So this is bile duct, and yeah. this is and air. This is and when I was moving, you could see that there was a movement up this way. And that was air refluxing back into the bile duct. Yes. And I will try and demonstrate that again. So Right there. There. Yeah. And as I go counter, you see that structure right where the arrowhead is? Whoa, we'll have to look for it in a second. But so this is bile duct because I, the anatomy on this kid is not clear to me because th clearly the ventral pancreatic duct is not dilated, as Khalid pointed out earlier. And then now we found the bile duct, which is small and has air in it. And it's, again, just for reference, it's this structure here. Now, theoretically, in divisum, if you have the bile duct in view, in most cases, if you go clockwise, you should be able to see the dorsal duct come in from here and go towards the minor this way. But I've tried that a few times and I've not been able to see that either. So there's the bile duct, pancreatic duct pulling back. There's air in the PD as well by the looks of it. But you went through minor, right? Yeah, that's what I'm saying. You're not, uh, well, I guess you went in major as well. Uh, excuse me, Dr. Uh, Dr. Mustafa? Z. Uh, is it the possibility of uh, pancreas divisum? Because I think I can appreciate two ducts uh, separately. I, s uh, you mean in the pancreas? Or yeah, 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 in the pancreas. We can try. See, to me, this one looks like the bile duct. This is pan ventral pancreatic duct. It's incomplete uh, pancreas divism, I think. It's very possible. It's yeah. hard for me to demonstrate, I'll be honest with you. Yeah. Uh, I'll show you. Wo I'm trying to see if I can get it. Kid so it's communicating up to here. We've crossed the portal. I'm going to try and I 
think this might be the transition point. There's something going on here. This is duct, and what's this? Right there. And I think there's upstream pancreatic duct right there. And this, and there's I, this there's I think, this is the upstream dilated and duct. And there's a wall thickening as well yes. of the duct. Yeah. You can appreciate that. Yeah. There. So and right that's that transition point. That's the transition like. point. Yep. So it's right in the neck area. You see that, Dr. Saab? Right there. So I think this is normal duct. Oh, sorry. Normal duct, transition point, dilated duct. So I don't know if this is truly divisum or not. I, what I can't understand is the correlation or the no lack of correlation with your ERCP findings. And Unless that things. <coughs> that, why, that was the reason why we, well I mean, I couldn't understand what was going on here because we couldn't yeah. get to the main pathology. We got into the. So you know, if there is a lesion there in uh, pseudo divisum, the uh, dorsal duct can become prominent. Some. But when can open up, but I don't see the dorsal duct there. Yeah, I have not been able to identify. The other thing is when he cannulated through the dorsal, it wasn't dilated. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it wasn't. So that's where the disconnect comes. But this, this could easily also be an inflammatory process. Ag again, primarily because of his age. I think if this was person was 50, you'd be most worried about cancer. So what, what, do you, what would you suggest? Would you uh, How old is he? 20. Seventeen. Seventeen. I would. Oh, get the vessel there. That's a vessel. That's a vessel. G. I would love to see the CT. Uh, 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 do you see a flow in that? I did. I think that's a vessel. Let me just double check. Yet. That's yeah. Yet that's that's not the duct. Yeah. That is not the duct, guys. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah. It's kind of sad to be not able to do this. <coughs> so that was not the dilated upstream duct, guys, because that was the vessel. Are you still there? Yeah. Any other thoughts, Khaled, or anybody else? So I'll try from the bulb one last time because I, it's frustrating to me that that isn't being as helpful as a view for us. But go ahead, sorry. sorry. Earlier, which uh, you thought it was a dilated duct from the gastric body, st from the stomach. Can you uh, bring that? Uh, can you see that again? Yeah, let me try that. Then yeah, let's try that because uh, maybe that, that structure which we saw from the which looked like a vessel from there, it was the same structure which we saw from the stomach. Okay, sure. Unless there is an overlapping vessel in the same area too. See this structure.
So keep an eye on this, okay? So this going down and then it's not clear to me and as I go clockwise towards body it becomes part of pancreas. If I so this you can see that there's a mixed This is mixed, you know, anechoic with echogenic So that material. looks more like a cyst. That could well be a cyst within the gland itself. Yeah, that's on the side of the gland, and uh, it's not a, like, a, I think it, that, that looks like a separate cyst. That's what it looks like. But you see, it's possible. I mean, this was what I convinced myself to think that maybe the duct but it could be this a cyst within the gland itself. Yeah, so mm -hmm. I think uh, we can uh, move on to the next Absolutely, case. Absolutely, yeah, yeah. Okay, uh, we, we can, uh, maybe we ne they need to take another look at the MRCP and then move uh, go from there. Sure, and you already went through the mediastinum, right? I yeah, yeah I did okay. go through the mediastinum, okay. so we can uh, move on to the next case. Sure. You, you've got time, you can show the mediastinum why, they're, why the next patient is getting oh, ready, okay. Khalid. So just quickly, uh, and you know, just for reinforcement purposes, but again, you have the left, left atrium, left ventricle, and you have the aortic valve going into the aorta. And this is the area when you pull back and you look up, uh, up here, where the arrow is, you're looking for subcranial lymph nodes. And in lung cancer, that would upstage that malignancy because it becomes bilateral. And as you come, as you, uh, let me remove the cursor, as you keep pulling back with the aorta in view, uh, so that's trachea. Sorry, let me just go counter. That's the aorta. Um, you can always do 360 all the way as you pull back, but as you come back towards the arch, thumb down, and you go clockwise, and you have you have what's called the left lower paratracheal region. So you have aorta, pulmonary artery, four L left lower paratracheal, and five, which is the um, aorta pulmonary window. Um, so these obviously we can sample quite easily. Um, here, obviously, you have vessels in the way. So those are the two main things that we look at um, and the areas that we look for nodes.